Welcome to the new Munsell Student Colour Set, a full colour, interactive and experiential guidebook for understanding colour using the Munsell system. The system uses letters and numbers to describe the three dimensions of colour, hue, value and chroma. To demonstrate how this works, this book set includes 11 Munsell colour charts, six additional charts with 12 exercises and 12 packets of colour chips to be placed on those charts for an interactive experience. Unwrap each set of pages and insert them into the binder rings. Check that you have all 12 bags. Each bag of chips is labelled for the chart that it corresponds to, along with a number of chips that the bag contains. To complete many of the exercises in the book, you will need to reuse the chips. Use a repositionable glue or tape so that the chips can be removed and replaced. We recommend restickable glue stick or mounting putty. Do not use permanent adhesive to affix the chips to the charts. Now that we've taken inventory, here are some tips to get you started on the charts. The hue value chroma chart describes the basic structure of the Munsell system. It should be completed before any of the hue charts. Find the HVC bag and count the chips to ensure that you have all 24. Ensure that each chip is a different colour. Sometimes two chips will stick together, so take care. Then divide the 24 chips into three groups. One, 10 different vivid, basic hues for the hue circle. Two, eight neutral greys between black and white for the value column and three, six reds from greyish to vivid for the chroma row. Arrange the ten hue chips on the hue circle, but don't affix them yet. Note that the vivid red chip belonging in the hue circle is lighter than the most vivid one that belongs in the red chroma sequence row. Arrange the eight neutral grey chips in the vertical value sequence column and then arrange the six red chips from low chroma to high chroma on the horizontal row at the four slash value level. Before you affix the chips to the charts, turn each chip over and write its hue letter, value and chroma number on the back in pencil. You can find these numbers on the rows and columns on each chart. It is very important to label each chip on all the Munsell charts because you will need them later for the exercises and the interactive charts. Once you've completed the hue value chroma chart, you can move on to the individual hue charts. Begin by placing a single chart and corresponding bag of chips in front of you. Handle only one chart with its corresponding bag of chips at a time so that you don't mix up the chips. Remove the chips from the bag and spread them out in front of you. Count them. Separate the colours with lower chroma, greyish, from those with higher chroma, vivid. For the hue charts, place chips only on the spaces marked with an X. First arrange the colours of lowest chroma in the vertical chroma slash two column of the chart from darkest at the bottom to the lightest at the top. As before, do not affix the chips yet. Next, at each value level, build out horizontally from the lowest chroma to the strongest chroma. 
After all the chips have been placed on the chart, to check that the value chroma sequence is correct, you can isolate each horizontal row or vertical column between two pieces of paper. The colours should appear to sequence smoothly. When the arrangement is correct, turn each chip over, one by one, and write its Munsell notation on the back, and affix the chips. Repeat these steps until all 10 charts in the set are assembled. To complete the interactive exercise charts, follow the instructions on each of the charts. The chips will stick to the charts for several weeks. For long term, place them in clear plastic zipper bags or glassine envelopes. Do not laminate the charts. This will alter the colour of the chips and make them unusable for completing the exercises. Enjoy your journey through the three dimensions of colour.